I think that what I was trying to say in my last video, but I failed at, is that a lot of cops, in my opinion, should be treated like veterans because they kind of do go to war. Um, and, and some of them go to war more than others. And that's the reality about the FBI also. Um, a lot of them do kind of go to war with really bad people. Wow, I, I really messed up with trimming my beard. And now I'm really hungry. Okay, that's all I was trying to say is that like, I feel like cops should be treated like veterans, but they're not. They're treated like people that you're kind of afraid of and so, sometimes people that bothered you because, in some, so, because some cops' job is sitting on an Indian reserva reservation where there are no street signs that tell you the speed limit and pulling everyone over because the speed limit is um, not intuitive. So that's what some cops do. And, but those cops even probably have to deal with... Those cops might actually deal with more problems than you realize. They, they might be broke cops combined with um, cops that deal with people that have serious alcohol and drug problems that might use violence when they're super drunk. Um, it, combined with poverty, which can lead to people to stealing more. So those cops might actually have more problems than you realize, even if they're a cop that bothers people... But all I'm saying is, I feel like cops should be treated like veterans, even if they're not war veterans, because a lot of them do go to war, especially cops um, in certain areas. They, they really go to war with uh, some of the people that they interact with. Sometimes that's because of drugs. A lot of the time it's because um, there are bad people out there, and cops kind of see the worst of the world. That's it. I am done talking. Oh, yeah. If you're wondering about my processor, eight cores. I've never had an eight core pro. I've I don't even know if I've ever had a four core processor. So um, this is a big deal. Pretty excited.